Kathy Whitworth died on Christmas Eve, aged 83. The causes of death were not revealed, nor the place, but a note released by her constant companion, Betty Odell, says that Kathy died peacefully. Surrounded by family and friends. It is with a heart full of love that we tell everyone that professional golf's greatest ever winner, Kathy Whitworth, has passed away. She left this world as she lived it, loving it, laughing and making memories, the statement reads. The world said goodbye to what is considered the best golfer ever. A title that she herself attributed to others. Maybe it's a matter of opinion, but the truth is, Kathy has more wins on the pro circuit than any man or woman. There were 88 in a career that lasted 27 years, between 1958 and 1985. Among women, the closest one is one of her contemporaries, Mickey Wright, 82. Among men, Sam Snead and Tiger Woods and the most, 82. A native of Texas, Whitworth was a gifted athlete who chose tennis as her first sport. But her first contact with golf, aged 15, changed her sporting preference. Golf grabbed me by the throat. I can't even tell you how much I enjoyed golf at that moment. I was very lucky to know what I wanted to do right then and there. Said Whitworth in an interview with Golf Digest magazine. Four years later, she was already a professional. I just wanted to win. Whitworth was 19 when she entered the LPGA in 1958. At a time when the circuit was almost irrelevant in North American sports. But golf was the only female professional sport and that was one of the reasons that led her to choose the sport. In those days, the LPGA was a kind of traveling, circus, in which players traveled in their own cars across the country to play in front of a few hundred spectators and had to stay in cheap hotels. It wasn't until his fourth year as a professional, in 1962, that Whitworth got his first victory. And she hasn't stopped winning. She won tournaments every year until she retired in 1985. And it's not just the 88 wins that impress, it's also the 93 times she's placed second. But there was no desire to break records here. I just wanted to win. I didn't want to reach a record that nobody could surpass. I'm no anomaly. I was lucky to be so successful. But what I did to be a better player was not what made me a better person, she noted. Whitworth was one of the dominant players of her time, with success that spanned generations. But without the return, or recognition, that her male contemporaries like Arnold Palmer or Jack Nicklaus had. For example, in the first year Whitworth led the LPGA earnings, in 1965. With $28,600 and eight circuit wins, Nicklaus earned $140,700, having won the PGA five times. So you can see why it took her an entire career to be the first woman to reach the million dollar prize money. It was only in 1981, already 23 years into her career, that Whitworth reached the million dollar mark with a third place at the U.S. Women's Open that earned her $9,500 and made her the first female golf millionaire, a huge milestone. As Sports Illustrated wrote about that tournament, on the men's side, millionaire status is nothing special.